saddle in. We got a long video here. Check out this monstrosity of a wall unit that this customer had built in. They don't like the wood. They want it painted. Shout out to all my sprayers because you know, I don't spray. I can't stand spraying, so I'm just going to cut and roll this one, but I know you guys are going to have a field day in the comments. So let's take it from the top. First, I scuff sand every single surface with 220 grit. I mean every single surface. Mop it all down. The builders were kind enough to fill their nail holes, so I'm just wiping them down, making sure they're flat. Again, I'm sanding and mopping down every single surface, making sure I get all that dust off. Looking good. Time to prime. Now, this is raw wood, so it's sucking the paint right up. You're going to feel the urge to just dip that paint heavy and glob it on, but don't do that. You must go super, super thin. Just deal with it, especially the first coat. It's the hardest coat. It minimizes brush marks and roller marks. Every coat should be super thin. It makes for a better finish. Everything is first coated here, primed, and now I'm going to sand down every single surface again. Just a very light scuff sand. I'm going to mop down every single surface again, fully getting all that dust off. Now after you prime, all these seams and gaps just jump out at you. So I'm going to walk around and caulk everywhere there's a seam and gap where the builder is missed. And then I will prime the whole thing again, giving it two coats of solid primer. And know your eyes don't deceive you, that is Benjamin Moore Advance. It's my go-to for wood and cabinet work. Uh, never failed me once, so why fix it if it ain't broken? I'm going super, super thin on the application. Remember, thin coats makes for a better finish. And it's all about the finish. So I'm very conscious of how I'm laying off my brush and roller marks. I'm laying it off very smooth. I'm feathering off, ramping off, however you want to call it. And I, I'm just doing it very gently, and I'm not doing it with a heavy roller. It's a light almost dry roller and I just fell it off accordingly just makes for a better finish it's all about the finish and what I didn't mention is I'm going every single step I'm going through with a flashlight I'm checking every surface to make sure there's no contamination on the surface that needs to be sanded or scraped off even before and after I roll a surface I break the flashlight out and I make sure that it's smooth it's all about the finish and this one's complete, two days, nine hours in total, two coats prime, two coats Benmore Advance. This one came out beautiful, just doing the finishing touches here, hardware knobs. This job ain't for everybody, I'm telling you now, it's very tedious, you must have the experience built in, the patience built in, because there's a million and one ways that this thing could go wrong. But this one came out perfect, neat and as clean as always, paint like a gentleman, Katie cares.